Hey guys, Jeff Ford, head coach of Fire Coaching, and we're back at you for another race day ready tip. Uh, I recently just got back from Ironman Cozumel and had an 87 minute PR. Uh, those aren't too common, but I think a big result of personal records when you set them is a more focused element in your training on strength training. A lot of endurance athletes forget about strength training and they don't see the importance of it, but there's uh, really a, a few big benefits, especially from a performance side. Number one, in order to push big watts on the bike and to really increase your miles per hour, uh, especially going the Ironman distance, you need to be hitting squats at least once or twice a week. All of our athletes, we dial them in to making sure they're squatting not only correctly, but frequently throughout their training program. Uh, there's also a lot of intangible benefits. Most of us think about the performance benefits, uh, but intangibly, you're gonna ward off injuries. So from an injury prevention standpoint, the stronger your foundation is, the less susceptible you're gonna to be to ligament damage, especially around the knees for endurance athletes, uh, and that overuse injury we've talked about before, patellar tendonitis. So the stronger we can get our VMO, our quads, our posterior chain muscle groups, the better off you're gonna be, and also the more personal records you're gonna set. Uh, so today I just wanna talk about one of the uh, most simple forms of squatting, back squatting, it's a great place to start. Obviously, we, we go to the air squat first. All those principles are gonna stay true, but I'm gonna wrap around this bar and just show you a good starting place uh, for getting yourself ready for your next race. Okay, so I got the rack set up, and today I'm just using a uh, training bar. Um, key to the back squat is, is really a checklist that we're gonna go through. So uh, whenever you approach getting underneath a bar, you wanna make sure uh, both feet are underneath that bar and that the bar is, is tall enough. This is a little bit low, um, so I'd dial and bring it up uh, if I was doing a longer lifting period. But I'm just gonna talk about the checklist today. Uh, as I walk back, the key is to really just go through this checklist in your head before you even do any reps with the barbell. So you're gonna look at my arm position. I'm trying to stay tight, keep my elbows in, relax grip. If flexibility isn't there for you, you can bring the grip out a little bit wider, but just get nice and tight and glue those elbows uh, slightly underneath the bar, make sure they're not hanging out the back. Okay, so I'm gonna check my head, eyes are neutral, stomach, belly is then gonna get tight, okay? Prison defense, guys. Uh, from here, I'm gonna check my stance. It should be shoulder width, and then I'm gonna wiggle the toes to ensure then I'm getting this back in my hamstrings, okay? Um, hamstrings or glutes should be your primary movers here, gang. So I'm back, butt is then gonna be back first because I'm gonna make sure I put out the vibe so I can slowly go down, staying in the heels, and then open the hips at the top. So everything's good, eyes neutral. I'm gonna squat all the way down. You can see the knees stay out the entire time on the way down and on the way out. That's gonna allow me to utilize those big muscles back and hit the proper technique. I'm going to turn to the side and just show you. Nice and tight, checklist, toes, butt back and down. Last thing you can see is I keep the hips underneath the bar, okay, at all times. That's going to be a big thing for endurance athletes is uh, their hips are going to want to rise up and their knees are going to want to come in when they first start squatting. So. Um, Simplest way to start your strength training routine, get under a barbell, use some light weights, okay? Uh, if you're planning sessions, you do wanna figure out what your one rep max is and then work off percentages. That that's, um, can be a little bit easier done with a coach or just looking up some other strength, trace, strength training based programs that are out there online like CrossFit Endurance um, and we, we're always putting out videos and things like that. So, back squats, you wanna PR your next race? Get underneath the bar, you're going to ward off injury, and you're going to be pushing a bigger gear on that bike. Uh, my name's Jeff Ford, head coach of Fire Coaching. We'll see you back here real soon.